Uh, today here at Fixed, I wanted to tell you guys about something that I ran into. Um, a friend of mine found uh, his uh, old uh, iPod Classic video. Uh, he spent uh, a lot of time over many years uh, uploading uh, uh, music and a bunch of stuff to this one and um, you know he's thousands and thousands of songs and he wanted uh, to use it again um, but he told me that it was having um, headphone issues that he couldn't hear anything out of it. Uh, the headphones that at one point in time one of the headphones had gone or at least one side had gone bad um, and that sounded like classic uh, um, you know headphone jack failure on them so I thought okay well I'll just uh, get a, a new cable um, and replace it. Um, I tried that and uh, still there was no sound um, but what was interesting is I could hear that the um, at least it wanted to, to work. Um, you could hear kind of like in both earpieces uh, a faint um, audio sound like you were listening to nothing but it was there. Um, but you couldn't hear anything that, that uh, you know the iPod thought it was playing stuff um, and when I put when I uh, uh, went back to his I could tell that only one of the sides would have that faint sound so I knew that it, apart from uh, his headphone jack having an issue um, that there was uh, an issue with with uh, the sound so um, did some research and uh, wanted to show you guys what I found um, here on the inside um, right down here let's see if I can get a clip of it let me stop shaking so let me grab some tweezers here so this component right here okay um, uh, I was basically everything that I ran to said that this guy or something around him if you work on him you fix the issue um, so I removed him um, he's got five uh, five little solder balls under him he does have this really annoying underfill all around so you have to carefully scrape around um, this uh, I see I found out on a donor board is very susceptible to um, to uh, uh, heat where the solder balls will start to come out if you apply too much heat so make sure you uh, cover him him um, if you're gonna use a uh, hot air uh, I was able to get it off uh, with a with a solder iron trick where I just placed a solder iron on top of the IC until it gets uh, and on, on the top of the chip until it gets hot enough um, and I had pulled one from a from the donor board just to make sure it would work. Reballed it um, and uh, soldered it back on and sound came back beautifully. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the fix. If, if you've basically troubleshooted everything else, um, you've tried replacing the headphone jack and you still have no sound, um, but the device thinks it's working and you can kind of hear that the headphones want to work, but they're not actually playing anything replace that um, and either replacing that um, uh, or um, heating something around it uh, fixes the issue um, I didn't use much heat uh, um, on it at all and so I'm pretty sure that's the component that needs to be replaced um, if you guys have uh, any idea um, as to if it is that or if it's something else um, uh, that would be cool to know, so uh, leave a comment in the description if you know. Um, yeah.